Hey fishy folks and welcome to Michael's Fish Room. Guys, before we get started, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, gently caress the notification bell, and when we're done, do me a favor, go on over to uh, michaelsfishroom.com and check out all the cool guppies and pluckos you can buy, also t-shirts. <clears throat> now today I want to talk a little bit about some preventative treatment I do for my fish. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about quarantining your fish. I recommend this for everyone. If you buy fish from me, if you buy fish from the local fish store, if you buy fish from an auction, if you get them from a local friend, if you get them from a wholesaler, if you get them from an, any online retailer, any new fish you get, I recommend quarantine. <clears throat> now, whatever method you choose to quarantine, completely up to you, you are ultimately responsible for the fish's health. I choose to use the quarantine method that Corey from Aquarium Co-op uh, did a video on about two years ago. And that is a trio of medica medications for seven days while you observe the fish. Now these medications are <clears throat> ICX from Aquarium Solutions, API General Cure, API EM Erythromycin. Uh, and the procedure is pretty simple. And I've done videos on it and I'll link some of those videos here as well. I'll put uh, hopefully a link to Corey's video down below also, give him credit. Um, but what you do is you add the medications as directed on the package as far as the amounts per water, <clears throat> and then you observe for seven days. Obviously you can feed the fish, but you don't do water changes. I don't add any more medications. Unless of course I see something. As an example, if I were to see ick, which <clears throat> as you know, at least I believe is in all of our fish tanks just in a dormant state and the stress of moving new fish or shipping new fish causes ick to show its root to show its head and so you got to treat for it and there are many treatments for it i've never actually had to treat it in my fish room um, so i can't even tell you what's the best method to treat it i would ask one of my really smart friends because i'm not that smart i'm just a dumb guy with a camera i mean a handsome dumb guy with a camera but I'm not that smart, so I would ask people way smarter than me, how would you treat this in my situation and probably take their advice. <clears throat> so that's a basic quarantine discussion for you. Um, real quick, the quarantine, if, if you're smart, you know about gram positive and gram negative bacteria, and you know that those medications aren't going to treat everything, and that's okay for me again ultimately you're responsible for the health and husbandry of your fish you do what you think is best this is what works for me this is what i do the other thing i've added to my arsenal um, of treatments is uh, medicated fish food now real quick i place an order to everything aquatic in uh, medford oregon everything aquatic sells is a website and they sell food and other dry goods and um, rapashi and <clears throat> dina the owner uh, she does a great job with medicated food and that's how I learned about her from other you know fishy nerds and uh, like I said people smarter than me and um, we've talked and I did a little sort of unboxing review video of some of her fishy foods I'll put a link up here as well um, showing you that and what I do is I use this food sort of in the same way as I use the QT as a sort of a preventative now um, what I do is I, I bought this anti-parasite duo flake, which I've used many times before. And something new for me is this antibiotic duo flake. And, uh, you know, two bags like this of each came in this tiny little box. I ordered on a Sunday night really late. I had them Wednesday morning. <coughs> really can't complain. Oh, extra fast shipping and uh, great packing. And by the way, FYI, if you will, Dina doesn't know I'm doing this video. I just happened to uh, like the medicated food. I didn't call her and say, I'd like to do a video, send me samples. You know, um, I didn't call her and say, hey, I wanna do a video. So, uh, you know, give me a discount. I just bought the food and I'm talking about it because I mentioned it in another video and a bunch of you guys said, hey, where do you get that medicated food and what do you do? So I'm trying to explain. Anyway, antibiotic duo flake, like I said, is new for me and it's got uh, erythromycin and doxycycline in it. And it f treats uh, like fin rot, uh, septicemia, maybe, mouth rot, another bacteria that I can't pronounce, but it's the one that causes columnaris, which is different than redworm, but 
sounds like the red worm. Anyway, uh, kidney disease and Popeye. Again, not the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree, sharpest tool in the shed, just handsome and a camera. Um, and this is new for me, and I don't, haven't really figured out how I'm gonna treat this, but the directions say, offer as the only food for 10 to 14 days, closely monitor water parameters, and do water changes as necessary if nitrifying bacteria are negatively affected. If nitrifying bacteria are negatively affected. I've never had that problem when I treat with EM erythromycin, but you might, so. <clears throat> the other thing that I bought, which I've uh, used before, and this is the one I talked about, is the anti-parasite duo flake. And uh, the active ingredients are Metro and Prazi, Metro uh, Nidazole and Prazi Quitinol. Same ingredients in General Cure, and I forget. Um, C Chem, yeah, C Chem. I can't remember what theirs is called, but I think it's the same ingredients, whatever their General Cure is called. Anyway, <clears throat> the treatment begin treatment with water change of 25% or greater. <clears throat> then feed exclusively one to two times a day for seven to 10 days, maybe repeat if necessary. You can also concurrently, which is a big fancy word meaning at the same time, uh, be used with Epsom salt and elevated heat, 86 degrees or higher, to clear the gut more effectively, more efficiently, sorry. And uh, it's effective against hexameda, and it's effective against hex, uh, Malawi bloat, body slime, another word I can't produce, produce, another word I can't pronounce, freshwater ick, a couple other things I can't pronounce, liver flukes, gill flukes, flatworms, tapeworms, and some other parasites of the gut. <clears throat> so the way I look at it is this is really treating for inside stuff and the antibiotic flake is treating for outside stuff. Now, um, what I do with this is I do usually fast the fish for a day and then I'll feed this for a couple days in a row. Um, that's what I do. If you choose to do something else, that's fine. I am by no means am I asking for your opinion on what I do. If you remember the video, the rant video I did on Friday, this is the same thing. The person with the uh, beta was not asking for advice and someone felt necessary to give them advice. I'm not asking you for advice. Please don't tell me this isn't gonna work. You're wasting your money, you're wasting your time. It's what I do in my fish room. It's what I choose to do because ultimately I am responsible for the health of my fish. So this is what I do, ha ha. Anyway, um, like I said, I treat this, I fast them for a day usually, then I treat this for, I feed this for, I don't know, two, three, maybe four days, just in case as a preventative. Now, if I see something wrong with fish, like if I looked in the tank and went, man, that fish looks like it's really skinny, it might have something inside, then I will treat 100% the way the directions say. Why? Because that's what you should do with your medicine. When you take um, medicines from the doctor and it says, <clears throat> you know, finish the whole course of medicine in 10 days, two times a day, if you don't do that, then you know you might not get better. So that's why I do that when I'm treating specifically. When I'm treating preventatively, I don't. All right, fishy folks, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna feed a tank with this um, just to show you that fish do eat it. The, a lot of the issues with medicated food that people say is it doesn't taste good so the fish don't eat it and therefore they don't get the medicine. And that might be true, but um, like I said, I've tried this before, I've used it before, and I really haven't had a problem with them not eating it. It's kind of one of the reasons I fast, just to make sure, but I haven't fasted these guys. They, they were fed last night, and it's Sunday morning now, so. All right, let's get to feeding. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, let's do this. I have a brand new bag of the Anti-Parasite Duo Flake by Everything Aquatic. Let's open it, see if it makes that new opening set sound. Wow, that was a pretty good sound. I love that noise. All right, that's creepy. All right, fishy folks, here we go. So the flakes are pretty big. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. 
But uh, I'm gonna do it what I always do and take some and crush them because guppies have little tiny mouths. And you can see this tank full of mutts is going after this fish food like it was brine shrimp or blood worms. All right, fishy folks. One of the things they say about this is wash your hands after feeding. So what I'm gonna do is, see it says it right there, wash your hands after feeding. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed the rest of the fish room and then I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I'm gonna go edit this video and hopefully it'll be up later today. Guys, don't forget to check out everythingaquatic.com and michaelsfishroom.com and have a great day. Uh, it's effective against hex, uh, Malawi blout, blout. Now, um, not my friends, it's called the brain fart. <coughs> All right, folk fishy folk. We put them in a quarantine tank, and that could be their own tank that they're originally, or that they're originally?